This is just a sample of the audiobook. To get the complete audiobook access the link posted in the first comment. Chapter in her life. It's Never Too Late is great and will be such an inspiration, not only for the older generation, but to young ones as well. After all, a dream is a dream, and it can come true at any age. I've written books about dreaming, and I've read many books on the subject, but this one covers it all and more. And just when I thought I knew everything there was to know about dreams. You go, girl. I will always love you and be dreaming along beside you. Dolly Parton, August 2020. Dream with me. I never intended to take this stroll down memory lane. What began as a book that would help us all remember we're not done yet turned into a lot of looking back. But isn't that the way it goes? God always seems to have his own idea of what's best. As I was writing, I realized the importance of not only knowing where you are, but also where you've been and what got you there. That perspective can help you figure out where you want to go next. So where do you want to go? You might say, good question, Kathy Lee, I'm not sure, or I haven't really thought about it, or how the heck am I supposed to know that? I have one word for you. Dream. Let me say it one more time to be sure you got it. Dream. If you're my age or getting close, it's probably been a long time since you last thought back to those days when you had dreams of what or who you wanted to be when you grew up. But it's time, friend. It's time to ask yourself, what would I do if I could? Toss out the phrases, I can't, and I don't know how, and start dreaming about the what if that might get you off that couch and back into something you want to do. Maybe me sharing my story will give you some perspective and help you get started on your own. At the heart of my personal dream of singing and being in movies is my love of inspiring and entertaining others. So hopefully, some of my stories will do just that for you. Are you ready? Dream with me, because it's never too late to dream. Chapter 1. Begin Again How do I begin to begin again? Breathe deep and let all the fresh, clean air in. How do I find the courage to say, I'm going to start a brand new life today? New Everythings by Kathy Lee Gifford and Brett James Certain moments in life can take on a rich significance in retrospect. Take, for instance, the time I was kicked out of the brownies. No, I'm not kidding. I actually was kicked out of the brownies. They insisted I turn my beanie in, all because I had bought into the Join the Brownies, See the World propaganda. I arrived at the first meeting super excited, but all I could see was the back of the beanie on the girl in front of me, who had bought into the same propaganda. It turns out talking about the world is not the same as seeing the world. For the first time in my young life, I felt duped, disappointed that what I'd been told was not actually true. So I started my own brownie troupe at home, and the organization took umbrage and asked me to never show up again. I think I remember my parents giggling, but I'm not sure. That experience has stayed with me for decades. Disappointment can do a number on you, but only if you let it. I'm not sure where I got the drive and determination to keep moving forward, even at the ripe old age of seven, but it likely had a lot to do with my dad and mom. I was born into a wonderful family with two parents who knew very early on that they had an unusual child in me. They always showed their love in spite of my uniqueness, encouraging my adventures, circuses, concerts, and plays in the backyard. They let me raid the family pantry to open a corner store on our street. They smiled as I started the children's newspaper for our neighborhood. I'm eternally grateful to God for my parents. I tried to foster the same kind of love and support in raising my own children, Cody and Cassidy. You'd have to ask them if I succeeded. Actually, please don't. Let them write a book that can't hurt my feelings when I'm dead. Regardless, they have turned out to be remarkable, delightful, completely unique, and imaginative individuals who are doing exactly what they were created to do, create. Cody is an extraordinary screenwriter and producer, and Cassidy is an accomplished film and television actress. They're fun. 
They're kind, and I don't resent them for my stretch marks at all. They were worth it. Today I find myself at a point.